right what is going on welcome to the channel all right we are back here on georgetown pike and check this out we're in a different car i'm actually in the model y still just got this fsd trial um which we didn't have fsd on this car so for the next 30 days i've got this trial and uh, we just got hit with this new ui update which gives us full screen map overlays and pretty cool stuff i've actually never used fsd in this car this is the first time this is always my go-to road to test it out on plus i'm on my way to maryland so if you're local and you know this kind of cuts right back into our capital beltway and this is a really windy curvy road so perfect test for fsd this is vision based hardware 4 so it's using cameras to drive you know it's got the video input and then output is the decisions it's making to drive we've got the automatic wipers going it is raining a little bit and the auto wipers i have to say are working really good i see a lot of people complain about it all the time but the auto wipers are working just like they should pretty much when it starts drizzling the wipers come on and if the rain speed increases then the wipers increase speed too and, and it's been working really great um i haven't had any issues with it for like the past three updates and this is my first time checking it out on this car and it seems to be working perfectly really nice job with these really curvy turns fsd definitely doing its thing mapping out the road and being able to take sharp turns like this let's see how it does yeah really nice smooth just like you know to most people's liking fsd drives very you know standard and smooth doesn't try to go you know need for speed or mad max or anything crazy like that it just um just drives efficiently you know it follows the rules it, it doesn't you know make any um weird moves um now sometimes fsd can it can fail and variables can throw it off and if that's the case then it will make sporadic moves and, and it could make the wrong move so you, you know just because you got a self-driving car doesn't mean you're in the back seat sleeping you know you got to pay attention and trust me if you've seen some of my videos i will take over and uh if you don't i don't know why you wouldn't take over um it's just you wouldn't if you weren't paying attention and that's why i always say you know don't don't get too comfortable and just kind of observe but at the same time be ready to take over at any given moment kind of judge you know the car based on the decisions you can kind of see you know where it's going and if you feel like it's not making the right moves um fsd will kind of communicate with you too as far as the lines so you, you know get like jagged if there's something in the road or something like that so you just have to kind of keep your eyes peeled and always be ready um but really nice job using fsd back here fsd just kind of breezes through roads like this now i try to give it more complex challenges um, as you notice, we're, we're getting a lot of steering wheel nags right now, and um, I'm not sure why they're coming as consistent as they are. Maybe because it's raining, I'm not sure. Um, but we are due an update 12.4, which is supposed to be coming in by Memorial Day ish, and they said that that will be removing the nag, which is still unbelievable i just don't know what you know how that's gonna work exactly but keep in mind the cabin camera is still there so i'm pretty sure they're gonna have some telemetry going down where they can detect your eyes and your hands um but where is the line between where it needs to like ask for input i don't know and i'm really curious to see what that's gonna be like so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we're in a, such a interesting period, such a critical time with Tesla merging with all of its AI components and seeing all these updates come in with Auto Park and soon to be Summon, FSD, Vision based, you know, Cybertruck. Um, I'm saying Cybertruck because I'm noticing the way that the the new UI feels like the way I'm 
looks like the Cybertruck, kind of like the text in the top left corner here, uh, feels a lot like sleeker, kind of more like in that Cybertruck style text. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot going on right now with Tesla. And uh, just over these next couple months, you're gonna be seeing a lot of changes with your car and um, just new features and new announcements, maybe new directions that the company's trying to go in as far as their AI. Um, you know, it, it's kind of like the whole Apple argument. You know, Apple is a phone company, right? They sell phones, but there's so much more than that. They don't just sell phones. Like, they do everything, you know, technology-based, you know, they, they have, cloud backup, you know, they have security services, they have email, they have so much, you know, um, research and data uh, development that they're doing um, rather than just phones, you know, they're more a software company than a hardware company. Um, so Tesla's the same way, you know, um, they're one of the only cars right now that the hardware and the software is, you know, the same. Now, slowly, we're starting to get more cars that are being designed that way. But if you go back and look at the original, you know, Legacy Auto, the manufacturer never really designed the software. It was usually done from some other company. And uh, Tesla really just pulled the page right out of Apple's book and just kind of have a marriage between the software and the hardware. And that's why when you get an iPhone, it just works really well and, you know, it does what it's supposed to um, because there's no conflict there between the hardware and the software. And, and you really notice that on the, on the user's end when you're actually driving the car or, you know, using your phone. All in all, um, when you have that marriage, I think it runs a lot better. So yeah, FSD did a really great job back here on Georgetown Pike. No complaints whatsoever. Really excited to be using this FSD trial. I got it for the next 30 days, so I'll definitely be testing it out here in the DMV area. Um, now, I wonder if 12.4 comes out during this trial. Is it going to receive the update? Um, if it doesn't, I'll still get it on the Model 3, so I'll definitely switch back over to make videos there. But as long as I got the latest update here, I definitely like to test that out um, in the area to see its capabilities. I love the way that it stopped before the line here to give way for someone if they wanted to turn left or if someone was waiting at that intersection. And these are the little things I'm noticing with FSD. It's been making a... a nice change um, and as AI is getting installed into the code we should be noticing like um, really big changes quickly and rapidly so yeah just hitting a bunch of traffic here if you're familiar this is the junction with 495 so want to thank everyone again for watching this video hit that like button if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe for more thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day